What's going on YouTube, Brad Davis here, back again for another review. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing two Nature Vape tanks. And these tanks also come with the uh, special cotton microcoil Nature Vape coil heads that you can get. Um, which, before I start, they're amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got the mini tank and the mini tank. And we've also got the coil which is able to be used in like Kanga Pro tanks and Aero tanks which I'm going to whack into my air tank. Maybe in this video, maybe a different video, because um, I'm, I'm hoping just to really do the review on these two in this video. But um, yeah, so we'll cut to the chase and we'll do some of the air up close stuff. Okay, so before we start talking about the products themselves, I'm just quickly going to say that everything came in this uh, cardboard box and everything was bubble wrapped, um, apart from the little bits and bobs which can't really be damaged, like uh, little bags of organic cotton and atomizer heads and beauty rings and stuff like that like they're all just in ziploc bags but the actual atomizers themselves are protected in bubble wrap so these are the atomizers themselves so we've got the uh, the midi and the mini the first obvious difference is the fact that the midi is bigger and the mini is smaller um, but also the drip tips are different which uh, it's quite cool because I mean obviously they're both just 510 drip tips so if you really wanted to you could swap them over and use them the other way around and it looks fine either way and they're both actually really nice drip tips, really nice quality along with the rest of the uh, the atomizers but uh, yeah we'll go into more detail about the MIDI and then I'll show you how to re-wick the coil once it needs re-wicking um, and then we will go on to talk about the MINI so first we're going to talk about the MIDI um, I'm going to disassemble all of this just to show you how it all comes apart um, it's similar to all of your other sort of clear misers um, where you've got this sort of stem bit which connects to the top and then you've got your glass tank and then you've got your base section and then you've got the base where the head can screw in so that's how it all comes apart, it all comes apart very easily all the, uh, the threading's really good okay so I'm going to put this back together and then we're going to have a look at re-wicking the head. Okay, so when it comes to actually cleaning the head, all you're gonna do is go to a sink, you're gonna pull the cotton out, but rather than pulling out in one swift tug, you're gonna gently do a couple of little like gentle pulls, otherwise you're gonna move the coil and you're gonna mess up your head and you obviously don't want that to happen. Um, and once you've done that, you're gonna rinse it with water and you're gonna dry it off gently. And then once you've dried it off, you can get the coil and you can see in there, um, I've already dry burned it, basically what you're going to want to do is just pulse it and then you're going to see it lighten up and you're just going to do that until you feel that your coil is completely clean and if you look in there you can see my coil, it, it looks brand new basically um, and the good thing about the uh, the wire that this company uses um, Nature Vape use resistance, no resistance wire that's a good thing because the legs go beside a, a sort of a, a silicon insulator and if the legs were to heat up, they would um, burn the insulator and give you a bad taste. But uh, yeah, the resistance, no resistance legs basically means that that's not going to happen. Okay, well, I'm going to start off by apologising about the blinding light. Um, but this is the best angle that I can get to show you guys how to do this. So I'm going to move this and we've got our organic cotton ball. And you're basically just going to pull this back. And you're going to pull a bit off the side something about that big that'll be more than enough and then you're gonna just get off any unwanted bits and then you're gonna roll this in your fingers so you're gonna get this bit and you're gonna roll it in your fingers so that it becomes a nice streamlined shape um, you don't want to roll it too tight because otherwise it's not going to be able to wick properly because the cotton's going to be too too tight um, and then once you've done that you're gonna make a point on the end then you're basically going to feed this through your coil and you can do this where the coil isn't attached to the base but uh, I'm just keeping it attached just for the sake of uh, this video and then once it's starting to come through I'm just going to get some tweezers and just give it a little pull so now I've got that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this head out of the air, the base so now I've got the head out of the base I'm just going to get some nail clippers, you can use anything you want, you can use scissors, you could use 
a smaller bit of cotton, whatever you like. But I just like using nail clippers. And then you gotta clip it right up to the two wicked slots. See, once you've pulled the wick through, you're gonna simply want to cut the wick off to about here, so it's almost in line with this stainless steel rim. So what I've been recommended to do by the guys at Nature Vape is to uh, get a bit of cotton, uh, I'm guessing around the same thickness as the bit that I've put through the wick, and inside this, uh, this base section here, to put a bit of cotton going all the way around, so like an extra wick. Um, it's sort of like some of your other atomizers you get out there where you've got the, um, the filler material. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that, so what we're going to do is get the cotton again, and then we're going to pull off another bit. Obviously this bit's going to have to be a bit longer. And then we're going to roll this on our fingers, not too tight again. Um, I'm just going to roll it up about the same. So I think this bit should be more than enough, you can see it's not that long. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in here, like I've been recommended to do. And then I'm going to find out where I need to cut it. Just cut that bit off there. And then I'm going to put that down in there. And just sort of try and neaten it up. But I'm going to be able to neaten it up a lot better with some juice. But you can see that's how it should look. And we're basically doing this because the guys at Nature Vape said this stops the tank from ever gurgling. Um, which is a common problem with tanks that use heads. Um, head based coils. So yeah, we're just going to juice this up and then we're going to fill our tank up and then we're going to move on to the uh, the Nature Vape Mini. Okay, so now I've got uh, my bottle of juice ready. I'm just going to apply a few drops to the coil and then I'm going to wick up all around the outside. I think I may have actually wicked a little bit too much there. But it's nothing that a few, a few button clicks can't fix. Okay, so after patting this down a little bit, you can see it's all uh, nice and juiced up. And if I press the button, you can see it's firing up perfectly fine. So then after you've screwed your tank back onto the base, you are ready to vape. And then now we're also going to fill up the mini tank. Um, you rebuild the heads in the same way, except you don't do the big circle of cotton around the base. Um, but you fill it up the exact same way. I'm just going to get my bottle of e-liquid. This one does have a needle nose bottle top. Um, but this either was actually from Nature Vape themselves, so they've obviously done that because it'll work well with their product. So you're just gonna put it onto the hole. Then you're just gonna squeeze and that'll fill your tank up. So then once your tank's completely full, put that face down to one side. Then you're gonna get your coil. I like to take off this head bit and I get a few drops of e-liquid. Put a few on the wick, a few on the coil, just so it's ready to vape. Then you get this chimney bit, you're going to put it back over the top of the head, and then you're going to get your tank, put the chimney down that hole, screw it into place, and now this is ready to vape. Okay, so first we're going to look at the mini tank. Um, I've got some red in here, which as you all know, that's my all day vape, so I know exactly how it should taste. I know exactly how it tastes in my drippers and in my K-Fun. Um, so I'll know if there's a lack of flavour or if there's more flavour. Um, and this is on the Vaporious, Vaporious Twist. I'll put a link up here or up here uh, to my review of that. Um, and I'm running this at 3.8 volts because that's where I've found I get just like the perfect amount of power. Uh, the perfect amount of vape and the perfect amount of flavour because uh, I've been vaping in this tank with uh, Redisera in it for like, the past couple of days um, so yeah, um, all the coils that you get from Nature Vape are 1.40 micro coils um, and as you've seen, uh, cotton wicks um, organic cotton to be precise uh, which gives you a great amount of flavour um, this tank holds 4ml of e-liquid which is close to that of like a, a good high-end RBA, like which hold big amount, big amount of liquid, big amounts of liquid. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, let's have a vape and uh, we'll see how it performs.
So as you can see, like the vapor production is really, really good. Um, it's producing just as much vapor as my K-Fund does, or as the Octopus RDAs that I've been using for my e-liquid reviews. Um, and I use Redis there all the time, and this is performing on par with my K-Fund. Um, it's like virtually the same setup because in my K-Fund I use a microcoil um, which is about 1.5 ohms, this is 0.1 ohms less um, and I use cotton, but this is organic cotton I think I use organic cotton in my K-Fund uh, it says 100% pure cotton but I'm not quite sure if it's uh, organic but the flavour, it's it's exactly the same as my K-Fund and I mean, K-Funds are expensive high-end devices and this device is 17 99 and it's just performing like a 70 odd quid atomizer um, obviously you haven't got the deck to rebuild on you've got to rebuild uh, the, the heads that you're using um, but other than that it's, it's virtually performing the same as my cave fun you've got the same tank size um, it looks amazing I just love the way it looks it's got a nice sleek look um, it's, it's not like polished stainless steel it's it's slightly brushed but not brushed to the point where it looks sort of matte. It's more brushed just so you have like this slight line look to it. Um and it just it looks really nice. You've got this grippy section down here uh, where the base connects to the tank and that grippy section is really nicely made um and it's very grippy. So uh it's not gonna get stuck on there like other tanks do. Like on my K-Fund, sometimes I tighten the bottom on a little bit too much and I struggle really hard to get the bottom off. But with this, uh, you're not going to have that problem because you've got this sort of uh, cross sort of texture in the uh, in the metal. Um, and this tank is 20 millimeters, so um, it is hard to find 20 millimeter uh, batteries. At least I, I haven't really came across that many. But uh, this battery is, I think it's 19 millimeters. It might be like 19.5. But to me, it's just sitting on there flush. Like it looks really good, um, especially this beauty ring that comes with the air, uh, the va vaporium, va the vaporius. Actually, that's what it's called. Um, and yeah, so at three point eight volts for me, this is just performing perfectly. Like it's just performing amazingly. The flavors amazing. The vape production is amazing. The price you can't argue with it because I mean seventeen ninety nine for something that's performing this well. Um, you can't really go wrong. I I just <coughs> I just don't know. I mean, there's nothing much more I can say. Just the fact that it's, it's really well made. The glass tank's really thick. Um, it's actually Pyrex glass. Sorry. Um, holds a big amount of liquid. The heads perform amazing. They're easy to re-wick. Um, on the, the website they're a decent price, they're not overly priced. Um, the drip tips, uh, you can change the drip tips and use whatever one you want. But the drip tips that come with them are really nicely made. Uh, even the o-rings on the drip tips are good quality o-rings and you, you can hear it's clicking in there nicely and it's it, it's not it's not going anywhere. Um, just, yeah, I really can't fault this as a clear miser. And even with RBAs, it's performing on par with like my RBAs that I've got. Um so I mean it's just a cracking a crack and clearizer, it's just really good. And like I said it looks really good on the vape vaporious vaporious twist, I think it's called. I'm probably getting that wrong. But uh, it'll be in the description uh, my review on this. Um but yeah I mean the red said just tastes as it does in all of my tanks and all of my drippers and everything. So I mean and the vapor production is just really good and uh, this is some liquid that I haven't tried but I'm going to be doing a review on it uh, it's from Nature Vape as well um, it's called Amber Twist Envy Amber Twist uh, I'll have a close up of that on screen now just so you can see it um, this is 11 milligrams so it is a bit uh, higher in nicotine than what I'm used to um, and I'll have the uh, PG and VG ratio on screen now as well because I'm not too sure on that either and I'm not going to try and guess, I'll just put that on the screen now. Um, but yeah, so I've got this on a, uh, a Ego style battery, um, it's actually a Debang Vapor Explosion uh, Igo 3. Igo 3, I think it's an Igo 3, I did a review on that as well, so the review will be up here somewhere. 
And with the beauty ring, uh, I'll take this off and give you guys a quick look. So you've got the tank, and then you've got the eagle threading on the battery, but it comes with the beauty ring, which makes it all look really nice and flush. Um, it looks really good, and I mean, I've never been a fan of eagle batteries, because all of the atomizers which are associated with them, uh, like you sort of, your iClear 16s, and stuff like that, I think they're called iClear 16s, like your C4 clear atomizers and your C5s, I'm not a fan of at all, but I mean with this, I mean just just watch, just behold the glory that is the uh, the Nature Vape Mini. I mean, that's an ego battery, like. Oh, I don't even know. I mean, oh, how much liquid does this hold? I'll quickly find how much liquid this holds. Um, but I mean, this Nature Vape uh, Mini Pro is what it's called. Uh, to be now, I've just been called the Mini and Midis, but they've got Pro at the end, so it's the Midi Pro and the Mini Pro. Um, it's only sixteen quid. It's a uh, fifteen ninety nine. Um, it's only a two mil tank, so it's it's literally half the size of this uh, this Midi. Um, which, by the way, they've got the the mini, the midi, but I think they should make a large one, like a twenty-two millimeter one, that will fit on the like your mechanical mods and stuff like that. I think that would be a really good idea. So, uh, Mark, if you're watching this, uh, there's an idea for you. Um, so this is fifteen millimeters. So yeah, it's gonna fit really nicely on all of your uh, your ego batteries. And I mean, oh, it's just it's performing so well. And I mean, I was not expecting it to perform this well, especially on an ego. And I mean, it's just, I really can't fault this. It's, it's got a different drip tip to the uh, the Mega. Um, I'll do a close-up of both the drip tips now, but this one's got more of like a, a mouth-friendly shape. And as you can hear, it's got the same O-ring, so it's fitting on nicely. Um, it just looks really nice. I mean, if I was carrying this around, I could use this as an all-day sort of vape. Like, I could use this as like a, a, a day-out atomizer and... I wouldn't be able to follow it, it would just be like, because I mean, I have to take out my HANA and my K-Fun and that's a bit cumbersome, like it's a bit big to carry around all the time, but I mean, I'm really, I'm not even joking, I'm going to start carrying this around because I mean, it's just performing like really well, and uh, as for the liquid, the liquid's quite nice as well. So I look forward to do a, a review on this liquid, but I mean, both of the tanks are just... I mean, just look at the vapor reduction. I'll, I'll get one from the side so you can see it properly. I mean, vapor reduction's amazing. The flavor, I mean, I haven't tried this liquid in any other atomizers or anything, but I mean, the flavor from this liquid is just amazing. I'm getting so much flavor. Um, the only flaw with this is obviously it's a two mil tank, so I would probably have to carry around a bottle of liquid with me, like a little 10 mil bottle, because, uh, I go through more than two mils of liquid a day. Um, I go through around four or five. Um, so this would not last me the whole day. Um, again, the brush finish, uh, the nice tank, it all comes apart and fits together really nice. The thread is really good. The 510 thread is really smooth. Um, the beauty ring just makes it look really nice on this Ego Threaded Air, Ego Battery. Um, and it, it's just, it's, it's a really nice, high quality, High quality little clear miser, um, and even this is performing like a good RBA. And I mean, you have other devices out there like Pro Tanks and uh, Aspires and stuff, which have all got the uh, the the heads which you can replace in them. But I mean, I've never had a clear miser head. Even when I built my own clear miser heads, I've never had a clear miser head perform and taste this well. Um, so I mean, I'm I'm quite a uh, I'm quite shocked. I wasn't expecting to like them this much, but they're actually really, really nice uh, clear misers. And for, even for, for a beginner, perfect. Uh, you can't go wrong. But even for like someone like me who uses K funds and drippers and RBAs, um, I'm still more than happy. I could more than happily vape this all day. So I mean, if I check the website. Um, and if I find the coils which you can purchase, um, it is 5 
for the coils which you have to use in these. Um, and you can get uh, elite coils and DCD coils for like other devices, um, like dual coil devices for uh, £7, uh, £6.99. But I mean for the performance that you're getting out of them, and you can re-wick them and they'll last you a long time if you look after them properly. Um, I, I, I can't complain about the uh, the price. So um, I'm going to cut this video now because I've been blabbering for easily 15-20 minutes and you probably, there's probably no one watching by this point. Um, but no, highly, highly recommend. If you're looking for a, a clear miser or if you've been thinking about buying something from Nature Bay but you haven't quite done it yet, then i uh, just go and do it. Um, if you're looking for a clear miser to carry around with you in case you don't want to carry out your drippers or your big cave funds or your big mechanical mods, then I mean, just this Ego, this Igo 3, sorry, and this uh, Nature Vape Mini Pro, I mean, I can't fault it at all. It's like, for an RBA, I wouldn't fault it. For a clear miser, I can't fault it at all. Um, so yeah, Nature Vape. Uh, up here somewhere, definitely go and check it out. Um, it's two big thumbs up from me. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the uh, the review slash head rewicking tutorial. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry if it's run a little longer than expected, but uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.